Hey everyone, Robert Oculus here, back with another 7 Days to Die in-game base design. I had a viewer quest that I do a water tower, how I would set it up, and this is kind of roughly how I would set it up. First run, you're going to see it happen. There's probably a couple of changes that I would make, but overall, the base was not bad. It, it actually did very well. This is a 123 day horde. It was actually pretty fun. I did have a demo uh, explode as well, but you know, that's going to happen, right? But it actually fared very well. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button. I have more videos coming out. And if you have anything you would like me to try, any kind of base setup, just let me know down in the comments. All right, let's get started, guys. I appreciate you coming and watching. And let's see how this thing holds up. Okay, a couple of changes I would make is I would put a door going into the corner areas where I have my dart traps and electric fence posts. Um, that would that would make it easier. Definitely put a vault door. And then I would also put bars over the openings uh, where they come up from the ladders. Uh, maybe go another block high and then put bars. I didn't really have a problem, but you'll see. Now I did go with the... Uh, two quarter pillars in front and then two above. I thought that would give me a better range of view instead of doing the four stacked. I also did one steel, one reinforced concrete. In my opinion, this would be a very ammo heavy base. But it is really easy to uh, get headshots. They all seem to be coming from one direction. Of course, that will change as the night goes on. It is kind of hard to hear if I've got uh, another, you see how they're kind of getting on top there. Um, it almost looks like they get so bunched up and they stack. But then they, you know, uh, then they come back down. So I didn't really have a problem with that. was nice getting all the headshots though. I 
I think what would be really fun is to have a single corridor, like my rooftop build. Um, that would, you know, that would be really fun. Uh, one thing I did kind of notice here, um, you know, with all the, the flashing and the electric fence posts and the, the way they stack up, it would be kind of hard to see Dem demolition zombies. As you'll see, when that wave hits me. See if we got anything to repair here. I'm not saying anything. Uh, it's holding up really well. I actually kind of thought that I would have them coming in all directions at one time. Uh, I wasn't sure how I was going to handle that. Giving them access to come on whichever side they want. Um, they seem to all kind of clump up. I did have a few stragglers, but no issues whatsoever. See, it looks like they've changed size, which is a good thing. I'm sure my electric fence posts are taking some wear. Okay, here we go. Here's the the big second wave. Now I'm, you know, these cops. It's hard. I'm using armor piercing around, so it's going through. Oh, there's a demolition zombie. It's going through the zombies into the other zombie. Um, which is not good if there's a demo behind him. Oh, we got a couple over there. Don't really want to shoot in there. Can't see nothing past them fat cops. Don't have anything beating on me from above. So that's good. I can hear the demolition zombies. I just don't want to shoot one on accident. Yeah, they're all stacking up in there. I 
think having the bars on the top, maybe a block higher, would uh, help keep them down. Shoot up here a little bit, catch him in the head. something up top. I think that's just because they're stacking. My electric fences are down. Uh, but the darts are still killing them. Without the electric fences, they can do, they'll start beating on things, so I need to kind of get them cleared out of here. Oh, there's a dean, that's a cop. I can hear him. Oh, 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 I hear it. No, ooh. How bad, how bad. Bad. We just don't. Yeah, halfway on those blocks. I obviously, don't want to be blowing up too many of those. Uh, there went my. Reinforced concrete block. This would be the only kind of issue I would see with this base. You would definitely want a longer hallway for them to come up. video I'm gonna upload after this it is I had a viewer request for a 64 times uh, insane horde and I actually did that one on the rooftop build um, it's a basically repair after you're done base um, and it worked it worked really well had a lot of demos and I even had them blow up there check that one out I'll put the link at the end So I've pretty much got to stay focused over here um, because I don't have the electric fences anymore and I did have some damage from that demolition zombie blowing up but not bad it looks like I've gotten through The ones that are still have the electric fence, they're pretty much taking care of themselves. A lot of spider zombies as well. This, the 
this night. Yeah, they're climbing on top of each other there. I think the bars would stop that. Definitely an ammo intensive base. I mean, what you also probably could do with this is extend the ladders out maybe three or four more blocks out and have about three or four more dart traps and electric fence posts and then I think that it would uh, hold out pretty well. Taking some damage because you're hitting it. Try to do a little repair from that demolition zombie. A lot of spider zombies. They do seem to stack up on each other, but then they'll come back down. They don't really make it on the top. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it. Dart traps are still going. Curious to see how many darts we've used. stragglers down there. Spider zombies. All right, that is the water tower base. And I think it held up pretty well. Not bad, except for this one side.
lost the uh, electric fence post because I wasn't killing them because of the demolition zombies. So I wanted to be careful. Uh, but even with one exploding, it wasn't too bad. Hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, if you want me to try somewhere and specifically, just let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending your time with me, guys. All right, let's take a look at the dart usage over here where the electric fence post went out on me. Not bad. Not bad. Half. Half of the darts. Let's see on the first one. So they were getting by the first one a lot quicker because uh, obviously the electric fence post was not working and, you know, the inside blocks took a little bit of damage from that de demolition zombie. But not bad. Not bad.